Hallo iedereen, my name is Suze. I am a Dutch animator by trade and an enthusiast in everything else. And today, let's draw the Scarlet Witch. I wanted to experiment with color a bit. Whenever I start a new piece, I tend to not think too much on the color scheme. Just the feel I want to convey. In this case, after having watched WandaVision, I wanted to convey strength and mournfulness. And as I was clumsily painting about, I was thinking on how important the act of mourning truly is. How we do everything in our power not to feel the other grief and loss of certain moments in our lives. And how running away from it can be more damaging than we want to admit. And in one division they went rampant with this concept. By the way, this video contains spoilers, so be warned. Scarlet Witch is a fascinating character and I really appreciate what the MCU and the actress um, Elizabeth Olsen did to bring this character to life. Not only have they brought a complicated character to the screen while also trying to stay faithful to the original source materials in the comic, but they also tried to explore the inner struggles of a person with immense capability and immense grief. Which is why I loved the Wanda Vision series. Both Wanda and Vision were introduced in the same movie and their relationship was slowly developed from movie to movie without it feeling too forced. Um, and her having been through immense trauma, the choice to focus on her grief in the WandaVision series was not only brilliant, but very necessary, I feel. Grief is a universal understanding. When confronted with loss, we mourn that loss. Better said, we should mourn that loss. The feeling of grief is horrible and when confronted with it most of us do anything not to feel it. But that is very destructive for any person. That is why I feel that the importance of mourning should not be overlooked. Ever. For anyone. In WandaVision, Wanda is so incredibly powerful that her grief overtook her, literally. Instead of accepting her circumstances and take the time to mourn, she not only did everything to not feel her pain, she literally deflected her pain on others and created a world for herself where she could be happy, but always aware of her pain underneath it all, of what she had left, of what she had left behind, of what she's been through, and her family, her brother, her lover, the older people she lost along the way. The process of grief is different for everyone and the type of loss is also different for everyone. But that does not mean that our pains aren't real or are inhibiting us to live our lives to the fullest. To mourn our loss is to learn to live with that grief, not to raise it. It's you can compare it it being the oldest poem there is. To love is to, is to grieve, to grieve is to love. Because if we do not love what we lost, then we do not grieve. It's a bit weirdly poetic and a bit vague, but unfortunately that's what our feelings usually are. They are vague and personal to each different person, so don't quote me. And in WandaVision, there are a lot of other plot elements surrounding Wanda, which has nothing to do with her grief. But it did make her one of the most 
interesting and real characters in the MCU. Even though she is a prophesized witch with immense chaos magical powers, Wanda is incredibly relatable. And I'm honestly excited to see where they're going to go with her story next. Pretty clear we are going to see her in Doctor Strange in the multiverse concept of the MCU universe comic spectrum. It's all very confusing and it's going to be so much more confusing. But I hope that the writers won't lose the essence that they build up in her character. And I'm really excited to see where it's going to go. best piece but that's what experimenting is trying things out succeeding or failing coping and learning from the results usually coping and then move on to the next thing we do best so i hope to see you all in the next let's draw let me know if you liked or hated hearing me speak over my let's draws it's the first time i've um, done this so Appreciate your opinion and leave a comment if you have your own wisdoms on grief because you never mourn alone, honestly. When you lost something or someone, someone else also lost something and someone. So share the love, share the wisdom and you will hear from me very soon, hopefully, maybe. Depending if you liked it or not. Or if I hate it. Maybe. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye.